in the past few days uh, i received quite a lot of queries related to issue collector now issue collector is uh, a very nice uh, feature within a project that you can use to basically create one embedded form that you can embed in uh, any website or any html page and when people visit that particular page they can fill up a form to raise tickets or to basically give you some feedback now i thought why not create one issue collector today and uh, let us see how it works and the people who are new to jira and they have never really used this particular feature they can also see how it works so let us say you want uh, people to give you some feedback so you can uh, name your issue collector as feedback then you can have some description if you want like for example please give us your feedback and uh, you can map your uh, issue collector to a specific issue so maybe you want uh, all the feedback to go to improvement and uh, when people fill up this particular form this particular issue collector the tickets or the issues that you will receive will have uh, a reporter that you can configure so let us say i want me to be the reporter now if the person who is uh, filling up the form is also your uh, jira user you can also try to match the email address so this is something that you can do and you also have the option to collect some uh, information about the browser from which they are submitting the request so i think it can help maybe in a troubleshooting situations then you have uh, the text that you want to display so since we are talking about feedback so let us keep it as uh, provide feedback and uh, you can uh, change the uh, style of the trigger i think uh, you can uh, keep it as this one like on top and uh, issue collector form now you can have different templates not really a lot but if you take a look at uh, the template below so when you have got feedback people will uh, rate this page and they will give you some feedback using these uh, radio buttons like awesome good uh, and bad and horrible and raise a bug or custom so you can have something uh, which is uh, a bit custom that you can create now question that i receive a lot is around uh, can i make one of these fields as mandatory now when you are using the form here uh, you can actually make a field mandatory using your own javascript so because when you let us say you have a custom template and you have different uh, fields that you want to be displayed here now we don't really have component here so let us remove component i think this looks good and when you submit this particular uh, issue collector you will get a javascript code and you can always uh, because it is uh, pure html with javascript you can always uh, add a condition here or maybe add some check to make a field as uh, required so it is really up to you if you want to do it it is possible i believe uh whether you want to do it uh, or not by coding is uh, really up to you but because it is a javascript code you should be able to now i can copy this code and uh, let us uh, display it somewhere so for this example i'm just thinking way to display it so let, let us create uh, or maybe i'll just use my own website i think that is a good idea so i'll create uh, this feedback form on my website so maybe i'll go to about let us click on the edit so maybe if uh, someone is visiting my about us page i want to display this and uh, i can simply insert and because i'm using a uh, drupal with full html format it should work hopefully let us see if it works or not so i think it is uh, going to let me just uh, take a look at 
let me just refresh it quickly. In my text format on the site, I may have a few tags disabled and it might not display. So let me just remove it from here and uh, because if you look at the text format, I, I'm not sure how much you know about Drupal, but uh, you have the option to basically block some HTML tags. So let us, let us not worry about it here in the site. I'll just use a, a simple HTML page that I can create, I believe, on my local computer. So let us create a file feedback.html and uh, I'll uh, simply create a very basic script here or oh, very basic page here. This is the page and we should have a new page that we can open uh, let me try to open it. So hopefully I can find the page. So this is something that um, you can also do if you want. I'm just trying to find the page that I can open. Let me just go to the desktop and uh, yep, I have found the page. Okay, so we have the page with us and uh, I'll copy the URL, which is nothing but a file on my local computer. So this is the page. Let me just show you how it looks like. So on top you have the option to provide feedback and when the users click, click on this on top, they can give you feedback. This is a great page. Um, wow, we love this. So this is the description. Please create more videos. Yes, I will. You can, they can fill up the priority. They can also attach a file, which is a really uh, nice way to uh, get some feedback. Name. Uh, so let us have name here. And uh, maybe the email address. Now, when the users will submit the form, they will get a message that, you know, thank you for, for your feedback and uh, you will receive a ticket in your in your Jira instance. So if you go to your project, let us take a look at the project and uh, find this new issue that we must have received from uh, from this particular embedded form using issue collector. Now I'll go to my all issues and I'll try to find my issue. My cloud instance is not really fastest in the world but it works and it is by the way free i don't pay for it because i'm using a free version so i think we have this issue here and uh, i think this looks good so let us try to see what all we can capture from uh, that particular uh, f um, issue collector form so it is like a typical issue where you have uh, the reporter so it will match the reporter if you have configured it in a way where you want to match the email address of the person who is filling the form to your uh, Jira user. You have the environment that will, uh, environment section that will be filled in with uh, the information of uh, the person who gave you the feedback and basically the browser information. And you can see the last comment text field also, also getting populated. You have the description where you have the reporter and email uh, address of the user. And uh, this is quite good, I think, because using this, you can not only get feedback, but uh, you can use it for maybe support if, if you want, like, uh, hope, I mean, not really full fledged supports or service desk, but maybe lightweight, but at least you now have a way to get some tickets or some feedback or a suggestion or maybe issues from your customer from any website. 
now if you want to customize it further because it is uh, html i mean when you have the when you have the embed code you have that particular embed code displaying some fields and using your own javascript you can definitely make further changes to those fields maybe you want to make them make them mandatory and uh, maybe you want to also tweak or maybe add some custom design you should be able to 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 basically do that and this is all i wanted to share in this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today thank you very much